What's up guys? This is a twin flame reading for October 1st. I'm so excited to finally enter the month of October. Birthday is in 22 days or well, 21 days. October 22nd, Libra Scorpio cusp. Libra season has been great and it's gonna only get better. I'm really excited. Okay, so before I begin, I'm just gonna pull some cards for the masculine and the feminine. Listen, the masculine can be, I can be speaking to the masculine aspect of yourself and the feminine aspect of yourself. I can be speaking to the partnership as it pertains to your divine partner, your soulmate, however label you label it. Um, but I can be speaking to both as well. So take it as it resonates. Tarot is guidance. Tarot is confirmation. Tarot is inspiration, but it should confirm what you already know in your spirit and your heart as tarot is a three red street, me, you, and spirit coming together for a message that requires my discernment, your discernment, and delivery um, from spirit. Um, so yeah, take it as it resonates as it pertains to content, timing, and you and your life. This is a general message. It is not a personal reading. If you would like a personal reading, order one from your favorite tarot card reader, if I am that person, or if you like a reading for me, the link is in my description, ashleygillard.com. And that's what this reading is brought to you by today, ashleygillard.com. <laughs> I am so excited, guys. I'm working on a book, and it's going to be so amazing. I already have four books out there right now. You can click the link in my description as well to learn more about those. Okay, search me on Amazon. <laughs> All right, without further ado, I want to pull some Oracle for the masculine and feminine to see the overall energy now i feel like we're on a clean slate like my energy reading today it was it was about it was 11 11 on a spiritual up leveling now that we're awakened and enlightened we're on a clean slate to start new beginnings you know today the 30th was the first day of the rosh hapana um the kabbalistic new year so we're on a clean slate, so let's see what energy we get today. I'm also getting the energy of perseverance. We have to persevere something. Um, my, I actually had a dream. I had a dream there was a car accident, and the message was, don't be moved by things that happen in physical reality. It was a persevere through the storm, persevere, but I feel like We've already persevered, like we've made it. And it's like this one last thing we have to do. Maybe that's create something, start a business, start a line. I've started several, so I'm like, Spirit, you have several means to bless me. So, But we could be in the energy of when you have new beginnings, start something anew. Okay. So we have patience on the bottom of the deck. I keep getting this patience, but um, it could just be energy of, ooh, Man holding the heart was right under it. So be patient with the masculine. Right now. Oh, look, guys. Synchronicity 3113. Door to value financial constraints. Interesting that we got those. So it's like reversing. Like, for example, if you've been, in, you know, having hard times, I understand that I started a business. My friends, a lot of my friends have started businesses. And when you start, you don't, money ain't coming in, money's going out. So it can feel like and be and actually be financial constraints. But blessings, again, like those of us on this wavelength that have been on spiritual paths, we're, we're definitely leaving this, we're leaving lack behind. So... Financial constraints. I want to pull some cards to confirm this oracle for both masculine and feminine. But I feel like we're leaving this energy behind. I was reading, I was listening to, uh, who was I listening to? Talk about a tarot. I think she was saying something like um, abundance, a windfall of money is coming in for some, some of us. Like me? <laughs> yeah, we're leaving this behind. We're leaving these financial constraints behind and we're entering... The next level I just love my braids like I did a great job I did it myself for the first time well I've done braids before like a year or so ago but not less like I did it for the first time I did a good job anyway so let me pull some of this um, I'm gonna pull 
Child, my dang old computer just keeps messing up. I'm going to pull some of the energy of the masculine first. Um, my card already dropped on the floor. We got three of wands again. Um, and we have the queen of pentacles. All right, so as it pertains to financial constraints, for masculine energy, which could be the actual masculine or it could be um, the masculine aspect of yourself, is the willpower. We need willpower. And I, I resonate with this because I my body just be giving out on me sometimes. It's so tired during the day. But we have to have the will to begin again. Again, like maybe we've tried several things that hasn't worked for us in the past. Like ideas, whatever it is. And so it gets harder and harder. It gets harder to try another, write another book when your first book has failed or start another business when your first business has failed or it, it's just, it does get harder and I can resonate with that and I relate to that. But it's like having the will again because this time it's going to provide you with financial stability. It's going to get you to a place of being stable financially, mentally, in your career, in your mind, in your life. The Queen of Swords is right under there too. It's like, it's going to put you into a place of being secure and sure about who you are. It's to you. It could be a business. It could be whatever idea it is. I would say go for it. It's worth a try. Because this time is going to bring you stability. Let's pull some for our feminine or feminine energy. It's crazy that um, Ten of Cups ace of swords okay looks like eight of cups wanted to show itself too in the king of wands mm. I'm gonna take it our next new bottom of the deck energy six of pentacles yes what is like balancing both of your energies and going forward? It's what creative endeavors brings you fulfillment? Having clarity of thought. This is, I'm sorry guys, I'm getting several messages like coming into my mind at the same time. But okay, let's, let me calm down. Let's start with one. With the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Cups, it's like... What brings you the ultimate fulfillment? What brings you, what makes, what fulfills you as a person? What fulfills your life? It's like that's coming in. But it's mental clarity as to what that even is for you. Um, what is that for you? Do you even, you know, do you know? I, I have to ask myself this question several times because sometimes I don't know how to answer it either. But it's like figuring out what ultimately fulfills you as a person. And, and as it pertains to a masculine too, this is not just about business or a career or purpose, a passion. It's about a partner as well. So I'm sorry guys, I'm getting several messages as it pertains to this reading. I'm getting internal masculine energy and external masculine energy at the same time. As you can see the bottom of the deck, man holding the heart and patience. That's, that, that's an actual person, external partner, your relationship, a masculine twin flame energy coming in. So be patient with him or her. But it's also breakthrough and clarity of thought as what you want in a person, what you want in a family, what you want out of life, what fulfills you. And then going forward and walking away from anything that doesn't serve that. With the King of Wands and the Eight of Cups, it's like walking away from anything that does not resonate with the vision that you have for your life. That doesn't bring you resolution. That doesn't serve your best interests. We can, you can, you can be walking away from a fire sign. I don't know. Or walking towards one. Ooh, are you walking towards one? It's like realizing that someone aligns with your vision or someone aligns with what you want, what fulfills you as it pertains to family and walking towards it. I told you guys several messages, especially for the feminine. Masculine energy was the will to begin something, the will to begin this creative endeavor, the will to begin this relationship, um, gathering that after a period of loss, after losing something. Yep. Think about ones and threes. Three and one is like 
spirit taking control and leading you to liberation, leading you to volume, leading you to more life. And ones and threes, it's like walking towards and taking and, and gathering the will again to follow spirit to get out of a, a period of loss in life with financial constraints here. It's like following your goals, following your dreams, following spirit, following your purpose to get out of lack, to get out of financial constraints, to to be more fulfilled. And then three, one is finally spirit acknowledging your efforts, acknowledging everything you've done, acknowledging you seeking God and putting you in a position of value, bringing in abundance, bringing in your masculine and feminine, bringing in your partner, bringing you to a place of value and abundance and stability. I want to put some tarot um, to go with this reading. But it's also a level of patience. We have to be patient with our masculine. Listen, guys, four years I have been on this journey of being, really, I've been single for about four years. I was separated some of that time. But, you know, separated and single, basically. But I've been, like, I haven't been... And this may be TMI, but I haven't been sexually active on a continuous basis for four years. So, yeah, that I'll have periods where I'll, I'll allow myself to be distracted by someone, maybe like over the summer, a few weeks. But that will be it. Um, other, other than that, it's like my sex life is non-existent. My relationship life is non-existent. Because I've, I pursued spirit. And I've been on the spiritual journey. And so some days I'm like, all right, now I'm over it. A lot of the time, though, I'm patient because I'm used to being alone. And it, it kind of feels comfortable and good. Um, but sometimes it's like, okay, I'm ready to be sexually active again. I'm ready to be a partner again. But honestly, I'm not in a rush. I'm not even going for it. No cap. I'm not in a rush. So anyway, Spirit, let's come forward with a message for the Swim Flame Collective. Um, hey, King of Pentacles wanted to come out already, so I'm going to let it out. Ooh, and the Nine of Cups. You guys know I like to take the um, bottom of the deck energy every time I pull a card um, because I feel like it adds to the message of it. Okay. Ooh. I picked it up like this. I'm going to take it like that. Um, all right, let's talk about these before I pull more. Transformation, death, endings, new beginnings. We already knew that. So we have the first pair, king of pentacles, and the nine of cups. Well, we know both of those energies are very masculine, but also abundant energies. Bringing in, um, y'all see that little thing flying around? That's, that's not even a, um, that's not a fly. That's, um... Palo Santo stick, you know, whatever. Let me light some more of it. Um, but guys, that energy is very masculine energy. It's stable energy. It's abundant. It's um, certainly the opposite of lack. So it's like... Um, Abundance finally manifesting, blessings finally manifesting, putting us in a position of increase and overflow, increase of blessings, increase of financial stability. It's like stable, stable. It's like you the bank. You become the bank. Instead of going to the bank for a loan, you become the bank. I like that. I mean, because... Uh, if anybody should be the bank, it should be spirit. Someone who follows spirit. You know, those who follow the world make money. So I would expect those who follow spirit to make it too. So I'm going to pull some energy for the feminine as it pertains to this. To see how, what adds to it. But it's certainly, again, we're leaving financial lack behind. And Libra season lasts so long. And we're expecting it to happen this season. We're being patient. But we know that... It's near. Let's see if I can get any. Four of Wands and King of Cups. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles now on the bottom. Entering a new phase of life. 
Yeah, because we know that the new phase of life is near anyway. We know that we're expecting it. We're actually already here. Even if it doesn't seem like it's manifested, we're here. We're entering the new phase. We're entering new beginnings. And um, all it takes is the will to create something. The will to begin again, almost. But anyway, with the King of Cups and the Four of Wands, staying balanced. I'm a quick story. Have, have you ever wanted to bless someone? And as soon as you're about to bless them, they do something to piss you off. My ex-husband, my baby daddy used to say this to me all the time before we got married. He was like, man, it's like when I'm buy about to buy you something or like one time he was about to buy me a fur coat or something. And I, I pissed him off or something like that. But he hadn't mentioned it. He was like, it seems like every time I'm about to do something nice for you, you lose it. Or, you know, you do something to piss me off. And anyway, I said that to say it's like remaining calm. Instead of being in an energy of a lack of emotional control, it's like remaining patient, remaining calm, regardless of what's happening in the background. Like my dream. In my dream, you know, I had the car accident in my dream. Someone hit me. Me and my son were okay, but I was pissed. And then in my dream, my spirit reminded me to be calm and be patient, to be tranquil. So it's like, regardless of what's happening in the background, remaining in a period, in a state of peace, because you know that's the energy you have to be in, in order to receive, in order to be an energetic flow of the universe, and to receive this next level of stability. Oh my God, my friend, my, the guy, actually the guy who does my teas for me, and I was kind of upset with him for taking so long, so I was probably a part of a little, part of the negative energy, but... You know, he lost his car in the flood in Houston. His car flooded. He lost his business flooded. He didn't lose his business, but, you know, it, it flooded. Um, a contract was supposed to go through, and the contract was taking very long, and he was getting agitated, and he just had to remind himself of the blessings that he already had, and when he calmed himself down, you know, the contract came through, and everything started aligning. You know, he has full coverage on his car, so everything, you know, it, it kind of started aligning. So sometimes things happen in our lives as a test, kind of, as a test, or the opposition just bring things in our, you know, try to shake our energy up to steal what we're about to receive. But we're smart. So instead of, you know, being a part of the opposition's plan, we ignore anything that will get us out of the energy of peace. So we remain peaceful in order to receive this abundance. Remain aligned with both our masculine and feminine energies, putting in the work, hard work and dedication, having faith in spirit, you know, whatever spiritual practices you're doing, remaining balanced because you know that's the energy you have to be in to receive. If you know the King of Cups, the King of Cups is like this and calm regardless of the storm behind him or her because it's like, oh no. I, my bless, I know my blessings are coming. I know there is water waves and a storm behind me, but it's not affecting me. I'm not touched by it. I'm on the rock. I'm solid. And I know my blessings are near. Yeah, guys. Yep. Um. Then we... Oh, wait. I didn't read for the masculine. Let's read for the masculine in this energy of King of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. That was the feminine energy. The feminine is like, mm, I'm going to remain calm because I'm about to be blessed. The masculine is, mm, king of wands came out twice. The other king of wands came out for the feminine. Yes. Yes. Hmm. The King of Wands and the Ace of Cups to clarify for the masculine, this King of Pentacles and this Nine of Cups. Nine plus one is Ten of Cups. Fulfillment, resolution, 
remaining um, focused on what brings him or her fulfillment. The resolution to the problem of unfulfillment. <coughs> I knew it. Nine of um, swords or spades on the bottom of the deck for the masculine. It's like... Focusing on overcoming lack as it pertains to emotional fulfillment. So while the blessings for the feminine is kind of tangible, uh, it's tangible. And the blessings for the masculine is the feminine. It's it's emotional. It's spiritual. It's, it's like both... It's two different things, but the same thing at the same time, bringing resolution to both of their lives. So maybe the masculine isn't in, you know, financial lack, but the lack that the masculine experiencing is potentially emotional. So it's overcoming the obstacles, overcoming a lack of emotional fulfillment. And the blessings that the masculine receive will be inspiration, motivation, love. As it pertains to the feminine. Maybe it may not even be clear yet. But it's clear like. I know. That in order for me to be feel happy. That my blessing will be in the form of. Emotional fulfillment from my partner. It's crazy because. The energy I'm getting from the feminine is more material, but the energy I'm getting from the masculine is more emotional. They both lack something. And they're both on this last in, the ninth inning, this last in of overcoming that. All right, so what's next? We have the Eight of Swords reverse, the Ace of Wands, and the Ten of Wands, Eleven. Oof. This is freedom. This is liberation and freedom. Ten, uh, ten of Wands plus the Ace of Wands is 11. And the Eight of Swords in reverse is also freedom. So it's like, it's 11. It's, um, it's spiritual elevation. It's, it's freedom. Mm. Both masculine and feminine on this journey of liberation. I mean, isn't that what this is all about anyway? That's what it is about, Twin Flame Journey. It's liberation. It's freedom. Why? By becoming one with their shadow self. Let's feel the energy. Uh, we know feminine is being liberated by entering this new phase of life. Ooh, look at the eight of, uh, Queen of Wands. Look at this Queen of Wands here showing up on the masculine's reading. Just popped up on accident. <laughs> liberation and freedom for the masculine is the feminine. Oh, the feminine is going to bring so much love and inspiration and freeness to the masculine. It's like next level. Wow. It's like the masculine has been running away from his or her blessing this whole time. Like your blessing is right in front of your face. The key to freedom is right in front of your face. And, and that's not to say that the key to the masculine fem, uh, freedom is in someone else's hands. That's No, but it's like the thing that the masculine lacked was the feminine. And it's like it was available the whole time. The masculine didn't even recognize it. But he or she has to go through the journey as well. Just like the feminine has to go through a journey or has to go through a journey as well to recognize the one thing that he or she was lacking was, in, was very readily available as well. But it's the keys to freedom. And Spirit is saying this partnership for the masculine. Because remember, the king of um, wands came out already. The king and the queen of wands is a pair. It's this, it's this partnership. <sighs> Sometimes your blessing be right in front of your face. And you don't even see it. Have your blessing right in front of your face. Open your eyes so you can see it. For the feminine, we have Six of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Hmm. 
Didn't I just say the blessing right in your front, the blessing readily available right in front of your face, but you don't see it? You know the image of the five of cups. It's like three things fell down and there's two right behind you just ready to be used. That's the same energy of the feminine as it pertains to material abundance and a creative endeavors. It's like success comes in from following and focusing on your creative endeavors. Material success comes into the feminine um, from following your goals and your dreams. But with the Five of Cups energy adds to it, it's like, again, that was also available to the feminine as well. But for some reason, the feminine didn't see it. So while the masculine didn't see the feminine as the key to his internal happiness and, and liberation and life fulfillment, the feminine has innate in her the key to liberation as well and freedom and success and abundance, material abundance and fulfillment as pertains to materials. She didn't see it either. He or she. Hmm. That's how it be. Sometimes it be right in your face and you just don't see it. Let's pull some more. This reading is like, whew, I think this reading is like blues clues. It's really, it's like blues clues. It's like, find the clue. It's right here. It's almost like being in the escape room. And the clues is all ready. Like, find the clues to get out of this room. Find the clues to liberation. Find the clues to fulfillment. Full time. For the masculine, it's a, a person, place. you know, it's a feminine that's been in his or her life already. Maybe even eight years. And the feminine, it's, it's opportunities. Just turn around and follow through on those opportunities that are readily available. Man, I'm going to have to pray and meditate on this message because if there's something that I don't see, I need to turn around and see it. Maybe it's not this. Maybe it's something that I'm not doing. I don't know. Page of... Didn't I just say... It's something that I'm not doing. Got another pair. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles already came out. This is two pairs came out. And we got the lovers. The spirit is talking to us today. This partnership is the key. We have the lovers and the page of wands. I just said... It's something that I'm not doing. Well, which one aren't you doing? How? What's keeping you in balance? Is it your masculine energy or is it your feminine energy? If I can answer this for myself, I probably need to work a little harder. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, for the masculine, it could be the feminine. I'm not taking action on the feminine. It's like, what do you call that? Dissonance, dissonance, this cognitive, cognitive dissonance. Knowing you have to do something, um, but doing the opposite. Knowing what makes you happy, knowing what brings you liberation and freedom, but not doing it. Sorry, my computer messed up. But knowing what you have to do to liberate yourself, but not doing it. It's like you're the opposition in your own life. Knowing what brings you fulfillment, but not acting on it. So weird. The opposition I ain't got to do nothing to you because you're doing it to yourself. Knowing what you need to do to balance your life, but choosing not to. The Queen of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles did the right. The Queen and the King of Pentacles are, that's one of the most stable couples as it pertains to fulfillment, as it pertains to fertility and birth, as it pertains to projects, as it pertains to having a stable life. The king and the queen of pentacles, stability. Ultimate level of stability. So if, if you're for a partner to bring you that, 
and you're not acting on it and you already know there is somebody who brings you the ultimate level of stability and fulfillment as it pertains to being stable in the partnership and you're not acting on it, you're the enemy against yourself. And if your issue is something else that's keeping you in balance, that's, you know, that's keeping you from fulfillment, that's keeping you from this partnership and you're not doing it, you have to reevaluate yourself and figure out what am I doing wrong or what can I be doing better? The fact that we got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, first of all, that's a lot of fire energy. Lots of earth energy too. It's action. It's action from both energies. It's inaction that's holding both energies back. It's time to take action. It's time to take action. Did I not? Let me pull some Uno cards. I forgot. I love these Uno These Uno cards have been giving me life in my readings. I did a reading earlier today and got, um, sorry, these are trying to fall out. I got 11 11. Got another five. Hmm. Interesting. There was a shift. With this five, I'm feeling like there's a shift. We have to take advantage of that shift. A shift in spiritual energy. Yes, a shift in spiritual energy. It's making you look back. It's almost like turning things around as it pertains to this union, this spiritual union. Yellow, I resonate the color yellow with like spirit, um, energy, the sun, vitality um I, I resonated a lot with spirit too though it's like something changes something turns the situation around and it could be action like we got to stop sitting around thinking things are just going to change on its own this could be action turning things around yeah turning things around as it pertains to this union and this partnership and also as it pertains to our life and being balanced didn't I just, yo, I amaze myself sometimes. Spirit never ceases to amaze me. Swap hands. <laughs> Didn't I just say things are turning around? Swap hands. So with this, I'm getting uh, feminine and masculine energies swapping. Yep. With the four, swap hands. Energy is being swapped. We got a two fours, which is also awesome. the fact that we got king and the queen of pentacles and two fours, definitely stability. And this three on one is four too. This door to value and this this door to value three plus one is four. And then financial constraints one plus three that's four too. We got a lot of fours in this reading, bringing stability, stability, stability. I'm telling you, stability is on the horizon. Um, but with this four and this swap hands, it's like masculine and feminine switching places emotionally. I, I resonate four with um, the color blue with the emotions, but the masculine and the feminine. You know why? How you know how that's true? Because in the beginning of the journey, the masculine was focused on you know uh, material things. And now, at the end of the journey, the masculine is focused on emotional fulfillment, while the feminine is focused on material things. I think I'm going to name this masculine and feminine swap hands. Yeah, we know that things have turned around. Yep, the things have turned around. Things, ooh, 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 ooh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. So we have the draw four, the draw two, and the wild card. <laughs> this is an easy. Oh man, another four. Oh man. Okay. So I resonate this with not only the number four, we got four, four, four right behind each other. Four, 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 which we know that four, four, four is uh, the liberation. Let's resonate four, four, four. Listen to Jay Z's song, four, four, four. 
album 444 it's about liberation so we know that um we're being liberated masculine and feminine is being liberated by switching roles switching roles liberates them both in whatever way that it resonates in in each of their lives so we already spoke i don't have to keep repeating myself but by attuning to masculine energy and, and focusing on material endeavors the feminine liberates as focus on spiritual energy and feminine energy and connecting with the actual feminine the masculine liberates so we know that we're on the path to spiritual enlightenment and then we have four uh, plus four and plus two which is six balance harmony it brings balance it brings harmony <laughs> balance and harmony brings liberation Ooh, child and it's like it puts you in a position to live your wildest dreams. Like it's almost with that with the wild card I'm getting like now you can do anything. Like you can do anything. Like the color is yours. You know how you get the wild card and it's like, oh the color I get to change the color, the color is red or whatever. It's like you get to live your wildest dreams. Because you've completed the journey, you've come full circle, and you've balanced both both aspects of yourself. I need to write a plan. For me, after this reading, I know that I have to write a plan to balance my masculine energy. I don't know what it is I have to do. If I have to work at 9 to 5 and come home, put another 8 hours in, in my in my books and my, my creative endeavors, work on Gem Body TMC, AshleyGooder.com, I need to get in tune with this energy. It is imperative. Like, it's liberation is on the line. And it's not only your liberation. You know that you're mirrored. Your masculine and feminine energies are mirrored internally, externally. So the more you get in tune with your masculine energy, the more you're masculine getting in tune with feminine energy. And it draws you two together. But we're not just doing it for the partner. We're not just doing this for another person. We're doing it for ourselves. Why? We, who doesn't want to be free? Liberation, 444, is on the line. I think I've said enough for us to be able to act on this. It's the beginning of the Kabbalistic New Year. The energy is, uh, spirit is on our side right now. It's in the energy. Like, Saturn going direct. It's so many things that's on our side. So now, it is time. And I just started a book. And it's, I feel like it's going to take me a while to write this one. But I was starting another journal. And I feel like that one have been completed quicker. It's not. I'm going to still have patience though. Like this is. But. I guess. I got to finish both anyway. I'll just work on it. But whatever it is you have to do to balance your energies. I suggest you do it. Especially if you want to be free. Hmm. Well, guys, I thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing, and every, uh, each and every one of you new and old subscribers. I wish you all love. I wish you all light. I wish you more life. If you need a private reading, click the link in my description. The way that I do readings is through video. So you order a reading, you pick your date of delivery, and my next date of delivery um, usually is in a couple of days. And I deliver it to your email via an unlisted YouTube video that only you or anybody you have the link, um, you share the link with can see. And it's a message for you. I, I honestly, I don't need much information except the information on the checkout form. It asks if you have any questions, you can put your question in there and I'll deliver a reading for you. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching again. I wish you love, light, and more life. Peace. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit ashleygillard.com. That's A-S-H-L-E-Y-G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D.com to book a tarot reading. You can book a business reading for your business or business idea with an action plan where I'll detail exactly spiritual advice on what you need to make it a success. Or you can book a personal reading with any question that you may have. Again, thanks for your support. I wish you love, I wish you light, and I wish you more life. Peace.